In January, we look forward to the heat. But Tom, if you throw in the humidity, that's a different story altogether. What's going on? Yeah, I'll tell you, it makes a big difference, doesn't it, Patrick? Although, you know, it's interesting. We had a little drop in the dew points today. Those northeast winds not only brought some heat tempering cooling along the lakefront, but they managed to uh, eat away at a little bit of the humidity. Look at the satellite view here. This is high resolution imagery and see those little showers popping up during the afternoon. And yet look how that breeze off the lake kept things pretty stable until some clouds arrived uh, late today. Uh, those little showers have been interesting. Here they are on the radar. You'll see them bubbling up. Uh, the winds aloft are exceedingly light, under 10 miles per hour. So these little showers have developed out, uh, oh gosh, toward Dixon and up toward Elizabeth. Uh, they've tended to move toward the northwest, but do so, they've done so very slowly. In many cases, they weren't moving much at all. These are not a threat to Chicago, although some blow-off clouds arrived late today. See that little cloud deck? Those are little debris clouds that came into the area. Fact is, much of the center of the country is in summer-like warmth as we enter the new month of uh, July here. Uh, high temperature in Chicago just missed 90 today. It was 89, but there won't be many days that miss 90 out at the O'Hare site. There will be along the shoreline because there'll be some cooling going on there. Lombard made it up to 93 today. It was 77 at Wilmette, so that brackets the lakeshore to inland temperature spread that we're going to see replicated Complicated uh, over and over again the next couple of days. We had uh, those afternoon lake breezes picked up. We had gusts to 22 and 25 miles per hour. There's an afternoon or diurnal increase in those with daytime heating. And then they fade away at night and the whole process repeats the next day. 91% uh, of our possible sun today in this month of July, which is the sunniest month in Chicago. And look at the temperatures. It's also our warmest month with normal Normal highs of 84 and 63 on the 1st, mid 80s, mid 60s as max min temps on the 15th and 83 and 64 the end of the month. And of course, as we pointed out here last night, we tied for 7th warmest in June. June was the uh, first month that has produced above normal sunshine during the course of uh, the month. Well, there are the highs today. Uh, cooling at the lakefront held it to 80 degrees, but that's sure tolerable. Look at some of the warmth inland at Lombard, Elmhurst, Highland, Indiana, Lamont, Illinois. Then you get close to the water and the temperatures are closer to 80 degrees. But it was beautiful and our cameras showed folks uh, taking advantage of the water and getting into it. That's Three Oaks Recreation Area. Here's the view from Northwestern University showing, uh, you know, the beaches uh, busy and the boaters out there. Boy, we're going to have a banner weekend for the Mariners and a little sailboats right down there by Grant Park as well. And over in Michigan City, a banner crowd uh, as folks were heading to the beach over at Michigan City today. Here in Chicago, it's 79 tonight. We have a north-northeast wind at 9, a dew point of 65, which is kind of moderate. Uh, it's uh, high enough you want to dehumidify if humidity bothers you. 62% is our relative humidity at this hour, and there are the temperatures. Despite that northeast wind, we're mild tonight and going to stay that way. But here's what I mean. See the dark green? That's the really humid air. It's been pushed a little bit west, and what's left in its wake in our area and here in Chicago is kind of a moderate level of humidity, which is pretty much what we'll carry into the weekend. And the winds are blowing lightly from the east. We have uh, high values today of mold spores. Grass is moderate and weeds low in our report from Dr. Roshna a shot. And look at the water temps at Waukegan, Wilmette Harbor, Michigan City, all bumping up against 70. Ohio Street Beach has a temp of 66. And out by the crib, not that you want to be swimming out there, at 60 degrees. So the headline is inland heat right on through the 4th of July holiday weekend, tempered or diminished a bit by lake breezes in the afternoon as we live through moderate humidity levels. Cloud cover about 15% of the sky at 7, 28 and 25%, noon and 6 p.m. Res respectively. And the dew points will stay in that mid to upper 60 range as tropical air dominates right on through the weekend. Now, what are the rain chances? 
For all intents and purposes, negligible tonight, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, the 4th. Sunday afternoon might see an isolated storm, and there's a little uh, jet stream that intersects our humid air Monday, Tuesday. It might pop up a couple of uh, scattered thunderstorms, but every one of the next five days will be well above normal. We're talking about inland 90s, and we also have some air quality issues here because of ozone that builds up in the sunlight in the afternoon and elevated particulates. That's why there's an air pollution action day that's been declared by Illinois EPA tomorrow. We'll talk more about that warming later next week. We could be talking about the hottest weather to date uh, with mid 90s around here. Uh, some real intense heat at that time. But until then, clear, warm and moderately humid tonight. A little haze, low temperature down to 69. And winds will drop off to 2 to 7 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, same thing has happened today. The winds will start picking up some in the afternoon. But generous sun, just a few uh, cottony cumulus clouds to decorate the sky. Hot, moderately humid, 92 at O'Hare, 82 at our beaches. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy, warm, moderately humid, 70 with some mid-60s well inland. And sun and puffy clouds again on Friday. High of 91, a cooler low and mid-80s at the beaches uh, and winds will not be all that strong. That's true of the weekend too. You know, there were all kinds of boats out last week. I can only imagine the number of mariners that are going to take advantage of this weekend weather and get out there with low 90s and cooler readings right at the shoreline. A couple of thunderstorms, maybe late Sunday, better chance Monday and Tuesday afternoon, but even then, uh, not a widespread ring. Well, uh, Rob Parcella is ready uh, for uh, Independence Day. He has his uh, Stars and Stripe cooler right there. That's kind of a neat thing. Mm. I think Rob could market those. Uh, and Kelly Taylor checks in from Breckenridge, Colorado. She and the family are out there enjoying the beautiful weather. Look at the snow-capped peaks in the yeah. distance. I think that's one of Kelly's uh, children right there doing a little golfing in the sand trap. Uh, Jody Kramer says uh, this towering anvil top thunderstorm dominated the horizon as wheat harvesting was in progress at uh, Sonoman, Illinois. While Jan Eichenfeld of Roselle was up on the Racine shoreline in Wisconsin, beautiful weather. She said only 77 there, but uh, this flower seemed happy. Mm -hmm. Aaron Novak says uh, this storm's wind whipped shelf clouds went off the Ocean Springs, Mississippi shoreline. That would chase you out of the water probably because there's lightning with it too and finally Stephanie Klein sends this beautiful says this beautiful bloom was sent to her from Mesa Arizona uh, and that is pretty mm. you know been a lot of fires burning in some of the uh, yeah. uh, foothills around Arizona very hot kind of smoky at times but uh, that sure is a gorgeous shot so guys it's summer welcome to July how Thank about you. that you too <laughs> See all you right <laughs>